हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज क्लास आई टीच यू एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर फोर्टीन फ्रॉम पार्ट बी फॉर द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग लैब फर्स्ट आई एक्सप्लेन यू द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी हैज गिवन वन एम फॉर अस सो दैट वी कैन डेवलप वन प्रोग्राम टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम डेवलप ए प्रोग्राम मीन्स यू नीड टू डेवलप वन मोर सॉफ्टवेयर but the condition is that you need to make the use of pointers develop the program by using pointers and calculate the sum of n values find the mean of it as well as find the standard deviation but without using arrays that means uh, they told us to use pointers that means in theory i taught you dynamic memory location that technique we use the main objective of this program is to calculate the standard deviation of n values i hope everyone knows how to find the standard deviation in mathematics no problem you have to understand it once again now first see the output whenever we run the program or the software that will ask you to enter the value of n let us assume entered value of n is 5 then it will read five values enter any five elements I entered one, two, three, four, five. Not only these values. Enter any five values. Even you can enter floating point numbers also, because uh, we use float type of variables here. Float type of pointer we use, and we get the sum of all the numbers. One, two, three, four plus five, fifteen. What is the mean? Fifteen by five. Three variance we get. Standard deviation we get. Run the same program for the second time. As you wish, you can enter the value of n as whatever you want. I entered five. Five memories are allocated by dynamic memory allocation. Enter the first value. First value ten will be stored at value at address eight thousand, eight thousand and four, eight thousand and eight, eight thousand and twelve, eight thousand and sixteen. Four four bytes will take. Shortly will come to know. We get the sum as well as the mean, as well as the variance, as well as the standard deviation. This program you need to develop in today's class or lab. How to develop this program? That one I explain to you. very simple and interesting program very easy program first you need to add standard input and output header file as well as we use the math.h why we are using math.h that one i explain to you first because i am using square root function square root of variance will be the standard deviation as you know already square root of variance value will be the standard deviation but uh, how to calculate the variance in order to calculate the variance sum square upon n what is it i explain but you can't calculate it until unless you want calculate the mean of n values so we calculate the mean but we cannot calculate the mean directly first we have to calculate the sum of values but we cannot calculate the sum of values we have to read those many values but we cannot read the values we have to allocate the memory but we cannot allocate the memory we have to read the value of n but before reading the n you have to define the variables see the how the program runs always you need to think in this direction to become a good programmer first your duty is to understand the expected output whenever the expected output will be clear then only you are able to write the program so first set the goal start working accordingly one or the other day i want to reach it but most of us including me what we do do you know we won't set the goal just we work whatever comes in our mind that's why we fail to reach our in, in our life to our goal that is the problem out of syllabus i'll come back sorry next white main we need the n variable because we are reading enter the value of n we need the i variable for for loop as well as for 0 1 2 3 4 and we need one float pointer because uh, dynamic memory location we have to allocate the memory then we need these many variables we have to store find the sum of values we have to find the mean of values we have to find the deviation we have to find the sum square we have to find the sorry, deviation variance these many variables we need why will come to know shortly enter the value of n we read the value of n comment i have written here this is what assume that i entered 5 file will be stored in n then uh, allocate five memories only neither more nor less already you know i taught in the theory dynamic memory allocation what happens here n into 5 into size of float size of float is 4 bytes 5 fours are 20 20 bytes are allocated each memory size is 44 bytes float star i need float type of memory first address will be stored in fp 
f is a float pointer assume that the first address is 8000 see here dynamic memory location will locate five memories 1 2 3 4 five address of the first memory is 8000 assume that will be stored in fp fp plus 1 8000 float fp plus 2 8008 fp plus 3 fp plus 4 like this we are able to work with other addresses i hope you understood this is what happens okay i hope you understood okay that's why what happens this malloc function will allocate the memory dynamically and we get the starting address once we get the starting address read and store the values how to do it enter percentage d elements that means enter five elements then first time i is 0 0 1 2 3 4 8000 plus 0 8000 next 8000 plus 1 first address is 8000 next 8004 because float type 8008 next 8000 how much tall next 8016 first value whichever we enter there will be stored at value address value at address 8000 next one is 2 next one is 3 next one is 4 next one is 5 we have read five values and we stored at addresses okay i hope you understood we find the sum of all values and we store in sum first time sum is 0 first time sum is 0 sorry i have forgotten to store sum is 0 sum square also 0 okay next what we do sum equals to previous sum plus the value at address first time i is 0 f is 8000 8000 plus 0 8000 Zero plus value at address eight thousand. Value at address eight thousand is one. Zero plus one one. One plus value at address eight thousand four two equals to three. Three plus three six. Six plus four ten. Ten plus five fifteen. We have calculated the sum of all the values. Now sum is hang fifteen. Find the mean fifteen upon five. What is that three? Then you have to calculate the deviation. How to calculate the deviation? You know. We subtract the mean. We subtract the 15 in all the values. We subtract the mean in all values to find deviation. Means 1 minus 15, 2 minus 15, 3 minus 15, 4 minus 15, 5 minus 15. Fp is first time zero. This is i. Fp plus i. Fp plus i. Sorry, mostly I did mistake. Okay, no problem. I did mistake in that output. Don't worry about that one. Here, f p plus i you have to write. I wrote wrong in the beginning. F p plus one you have to write. F p plus one, not one. F p plus i. Sorry. Means eight uh, thousand plus zero. Value at address eight thousand. F p plus two, eight thousand four. F p plus three, eight thousand and eight. Like that we get eight thousand minus mean. We get that one. Sum square is first time zero. Zero plus deviation into deviation. We find the square of deviation. That one we add into sum. That's why we named this variable as a sum square. I hope you understood. Very good. Next, what happens? Once you find the sum square, find divided by n. That is what we call variance. Next, what we do? Square root of variance will be the standard deviation. Now we have the sum. We have the mean. We have the variance. We have the standard deviation. Print all. That is what the simple program. I hope you understood. But uh, previously here I typed one no because of which uh, mostly I got wrong results here. Uh, variance and standard deviation. I will check and I will recorrect. Wait for two minutes. Hello students, sorry, come back. Uh, first I explained you the output, not two outputs. Actually, within those two outputs, the answers were wrong. That's why I changed variance as to standard deviation as 1.41. Don't worry. Because of their FP plus one, I typed it while checking. Just only I have come to know that that must be F plus I. I hope you understood. No confusion at all. I revise slowly once again for you the entire program. Means you need to develop one uh, program to find standard deviation. Whenever you enter the value of n, we get phi. Uh, if you enter the value of n as phi, we read phi values. We get the sum as 15. We get the mean as 3. We get the variance as 2. We get the standard deviation as 1.41. Some values also we get. Don't worry about that one. Then how to write the program for it? How to write the program for it? Just study root h, then math root h because we are using square root here, square root of variance. Okay. Afterwards, uh, n uh, helps us to read the value of n. 
I is for for loop. This is float pointer. Sum equals zero. Sum square equals zero. Mean deviation, standard deviation, and variance. These many variables we need. Afterwards, we read the value of NS five. Then we allocate five memories only. Enter five values. We stored at different addresses. Value at ad means uh, we store the first value at address eight thousand. Then eight thousand four, eight thousand eight, eight thousand twelve, eight thousand sixteen. Like this, we read and we store by using pointers. Then we find the sum of all the values. Sum equals to previous sum plus value at addresses. We get fifteen. Fifteen by three mean will be calculated. This mean we subtract in each value. First value minus mean deviation. Find the square of it. Store in sum square. Second value minus mean deviation. Find the square. Store with previous sum. Like this, we find the uh, what sum square. Sum square upon n will be the variance. Square root of variance will be the standard deviation. We print sum mean variance and standard deviation. It is very easy program. I hope you understood. Please in journal uh, note down the aim, then uh, write the program. Write this output. It is more than sufficient. Thank you. Have a nice day. Take care.